Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker episode 69. Last episode I think I said it was 69, but it was actually 68. So this is episode 69. I went between episodes and scoured the map to see if I could find the Bear Tribe's campsite, and I could not find it. So I think like most of the Companions quest that one is not actually fully implemented so Until someone comes and gives us something to kill or some mystery investigate. We'll just continue running our kingdom So we have no events to deal with but we have projects so we can support the high priest or the regent So high priest are you available? No, you're fighting an army of undead Okay um Regent, are you available? No, you're fighting a mysterious cult. And we don't have the money for any of these. So I guess we will just skip a few days. Yay, plus three community. We succeeded. Now can we do... Yep, now we can do yours. Which will raise our community. So plus one community, plus six relations, plus one divine. Now that's from hunting season. So that, oops, so minus divine, plus economy, succeeded, okay, events, we got lots of those, so let's go deal with the demands from our various people first. Maybe one of them has a quest for us. Yay, quest! Ooh, it looks like both of them want something. Do you remember? We... Remember the Technic League? We knew they wouldn't just let us go like this. They sent their man right here to the capital. How imprudent, huh? How do we know he's from the Technic League? He's sitting in a tavern paying in Numian gold asking about Reg and I all day. Even if he's not a Technic League spy, we have a couple of questions for him. What are you going to do? What do you think? Drag him outside and kick the... Reg, this can wait. For starters, we'll talk and find out what exactly they have planned. They wouldn't just send one agent here and where the cronies are. Alright, let's go then and find out what the heck the what the hell's the Legion is doing here. Great. We will wait for you in the tavern. Finally, since you, finally, 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 you have your own advisor for cultural affairs. I am so happy you entrusted this to me. First of all, art in our barony is not doing well. People are m more about soil and what it can give them, not about spiritual affairs. But we can fix it. Your subjects just need a gentle push in this direction. You just have to spend a little money and time on education. Open private schools, open classes at temples, or even invite foreign teachers to the capital. Anything that will be better than what we have now. What do you say? We will open schools. I don't want my lands to be inhabited by some uneducated bunkkins. Yes, 
will do just that. <laughs> Jessica, we have a big fish, a noble from Beverly. His clothes are worth hundreds of gold pieces and his eyes are shifty. He has a business off to make. He wants to open a leather working shop in our domain to tan skins. These tanneries smell like cobalt's crap hole. This industry requires use of alchemical components which are carried by the wind and cause nasty diseases. Nobody's happy about such factories in Breverie, so he came to us. The offer is profitable, no doubt, but it smells bad. We mustn't seal the deal with this little man. You'd better seal him away and quickly. This will teach other money bags a lesson. If you're stuffed with gold, it doesn't mean you have allowed to do whatever you want. We're not Beverly's backyard. Let him find another place for their trash. Perfect. We didn't capture these lands to turn them into a dump. Without alchemical fumes, people will live here happily and give birth to healthy children. Jessica, it's time to talk about one of the greatest sins of the River Kingdom. It's piracy and assault. You see, if there's decades, you see, it's been decades of illegal trade of stolen goods between criminals and corrupt merchants in these lands. Now that there are guards in the harbors and on the roads, the traffic has lowered a little. Someone else would suggest you take advantage of it. Just collect your fees and don't ask questions about all the blood on the goods. But as my traveler's experience shows, the real wealth lies where there is no robbery and smuggling. I wonder if major trade unions would want to deal with a pri pirate promoter. I suggest you don't tolerate the way things are. Establish customs in your harbor and start hunting down the unlawful captors. Chattelotain must be stopped. I command it to, estab to establish the whatever it is. So we're going to put an end to illegal trade of stolen goods in your land. This is music to my ears. You heed my advice and thus prove that my work to elevate this land is not a waste of time. I'll mention it in my next book how important it is to every smart advisor to have a leader that doesn't interfere. Yay! So let's go here. Take care of plus one culture, plus one community, plus one economy. We'll start that one. 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 Okay, and projects. We can support the treasurer, support the regent, support the curator, support the high priest. But first, let's go and talk to the spy in the end. Because there's so much, so much ruling a ruler can do before he has to go out and bust a few heads to relax. Go here and rest. And it'll just be me and the two of them if I remember right because I can't take... When I leave there, I have a party. But when I go there, it's just me. Should load here. Okay. Down here. To 
to the inn. Okay. Apparently Mary's still standing there, citizen. There they are. Where's the spy? That must be the spy. There you are, long time no see. Tell us what you're doing here, witch. Why so rude? I came here willingly and brought you valuable information. What do you think of having a face-to-face -face conversation with Maestro Janush? He is visiting your lands with his students and slaves. Oh, I see your eyes lit up. Your faces tell me you don't mind. Please remind me who mass a wizard from the Technic League. Mine and Octavia's teacher. We owe half of our scars to him. I must admit he taught us magic well. I don't want to meet him and I can't wait to meet him and thank him for it. Did he send you? To some extent. Didn't exactly send. Not exactly me. A crony of Janosh's was supposed to sit here luring you into a set-up trap. But it was not in my interest, so Mastro's messenger is riding in the swamp, and I'm sitting here instead of him, ready to tell you absolutely free how to avoid this trap. Why do we believe you? We have common interests. Do you remember our last encounter? You, spent, you spared my life, but otherwise I was in deep shit. The expedition had been thwarted, valuable slaves lost, the technically does not forgive this. I tried hiding in the river kingdoms, but Janash has long hands. I will have no peace as long as he is alive. The wisest thing I can do is to help his mortal enemies. Octavio Ragnar, what do you say? I'll say I'll say I still want to crumble her smug face, but I want to gut Maestro even more. And if she's lying, she's doing it very convincingly. The technically really does not forgive mistakes. And such gambits for them are a piece of cake. There's definitely some catch here, but I'm hooked. The catch will go to Maestro Janush when he expects you from the main door and you go in through the back. Here is a map with the Technic League's lair marked and a scheme off of and a scheme off the secret entrance. Don't expect you from there. They won't expect you from there. Don't think. Thank me. You just. Find Janosh and lop his head off. All right, we believe you, but if we see your ugly face ever again, boy, do you really think I want to slice the desire to see yours? Have a nice day, my friends. I hope it will be our last encounter. By the way, the beer you have here is Monocor's Piss. Just saying. Good luck with Janosh. Really? You're insulting? I let you live and you insult our beer. Really? I should have read those, but I didn't. You can pause if you need to see it. There was nothing important in there. So let's see if we find the Technic League on the map. I was mostly going through it just to see if 
I need to kick off something, but it should already be on the map. Let's use the arrow keys so it doesn't keep doing that flashing. Well, it's still going to do the flashing. Yep, I don't think this quest is actually in either. Or at least the area for the quest isn't. Because I'm also not seeing it. And even if we don't have a path to it, I should see it. Okay, we're going to assume that their quest is broken. So I guess we go back to running the kingdom until we have something exciting happen. Do, 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 do. Okay, back we go. Okay, back to the map. So we have events running projects. So I think the treasure is busy. Yeah, treasure is busy. Region's not busy. So oh, no effect there. Basically failed. There we have a success. There we got a success. There we failed. There we got a success. Okay. Events. Okay. We got a visit. And this sounds like they're actually asking for help, so we probably actually will get a quest out of it. Yay, quest! Adventures. Ooh, we finally got finished the attend to manners. I bring tidings in good measure and bad. As for good, it seems that Restroff Sword Lord. Jumandi Adora honors us with her attention. She jotted down a nice little letter and bad tidings. She wants us to prove ourselves worthy of such recognition. So I have a letter. Remember that annoying Magnar Vaughn. Remember that annoying Magnar Vaughn who couldn't stop pestering you? Seems like he's grown tired of Aldo's leash, so he stopped answering the Sword Lord's letters. 
With Varn alone wouldn't raise so much concern, according to the letter, the settlement itself seems to have vanished. Germani Adora expects your help with the matter, for she knows of your good relations with Magner. She asks you to go to Van Horde and find out why they've fallen silent. Uh, why would the Sword Lords care about Banhold? Germandi Adore, Adore seeks allies with anyone who is proven to be trustworthy, even if only a little. Considering that Von, Horde, Von Hold is the closest thing to an outpost on the east edge of River Kingdoms, it's also useful to her in keeping an eye on Dunsward and the surrounding areas. What do we know of Von Hold? The Marini is much alike your own. It also established by a mercenary, Maker Vaughn. He got his title the same event you did. Megar Vaughn is third or fourth son in the family, so he couldn't claim his fa father's inheritance. Looks like he hoped to establish a settlement of his own and gain wealth and prosperity that way. How could a whole settlement just disappear? Hmm, a riot, a rebellion? But if that were the case, there would be refugees. Whatever happened, it must have been sudden indeed. Perhaps a bandit attack, barbarians, a plague. Whatever it was, no one outside Von Holt seems to know what happened. Maybe Vaughn simply decided to stop dealing with Rastoff. Judging by Aldora's letter, the silence doesn't seem voluntary. Otherwise, at least one person would have reached a neighbor and asked, seek to what happened there. Von Hold is located nearby. We should find out what happened there before the same fate befalls us too. Then it's time to gather a party and head to Von Hold, Your Grace. Yay! Okay, let's finish up the other stuff quick and then head to Von Hold. Plus one relations. Ooh, who do we want to go hunting? You're the greatest hunter. You take care of the poltergeist. Ooh. Odds are he's going to fail. He's only plus 10 and it's a DC 21. Less than 50% chance. I'll have our region take care of that. Wow, these events have gotten a lot harder. Well, this one's not so hard. He only needs a two. Okay, we don't want to worry about any of those. Let's go ahead to our little outpost here. Okay, so there's the lodge house and the tavern. Put you there. Since this is close to where they're having problems, let's go ahead. Whoops. Build a watchtower. A barracks, a wooden wall, we already have a shop, and a granary. Okay, that should improve some of our numbers. Let's gather our party and head towards Von Holm. So I know this is the last major quest in the story in the beta. 
So I have no idea how long or complicated or any of that it is. I know it's a chapter all pretty much by itself. So it may be pretty involved. We will almost certainly get done with this before the game's released. And I'd like to keep doing something in this after we finish this beta playthrough just because I'd like to do everything I can for the game because I really love the game and I really want this game to be a success so they keep adding to it in the future with new content and that. So we'll have to see. I could try running an evil which is one of the things I was thinking of doing or I could have you guys choose a class that you want me to see how far I could run through it a a second time with a different class. Or I could do pick a character from like Conan or something and try doing a run through where I'm trying to build a character as close to them and what I know about them as possible. So let me know your ideas. I'm not committed to anything yet and we probably got you know several more episodes here so it's not like it's gonna happen right away. So let's see. We know that Von Hold is here. And we knew this was the other way we could get there. So let's go here. Which will take us 15 hours. But it should be fairly fast. It's across plains most of the way. Okay. Oh, there's the Technic League's hideout. So we did find the stuff for that quest. Still don't see the one for the camp, but... Okay, let's try going this way. Hey, let's enter Von Hold and see what's left of it. I mean, we've been here once before by invitation, so we know the basics of it. Let's see if it's burnt to the ground or just completely devoid of people or what the story is. Well, it doesn't look burnt to the ground. Does appear to be very empty. Entrance to this empty camera, empty tavern still smells of spilled air. Ale. I can't talk. People, no, friggin' savages. Oh, and I keep forgetting to change you back here. You need to change your weapons back to. Your longbow. Any clues on these guys? Dagger, 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 dagger. Nope, not really. In due time. 
But them being here is a clue. We'll have to search over this whole town. See if we can find more of these guys. There's a raven. Some docks. Oh, there's a body. Oh, that's the body of the guy we just killed. Yeah. That would explain the body. This looks like a palisade of sorts. This must be his fortifications of his headquarters. We didn't look at this last time. Oh, it looks like a different map. Oh, except we're tired. Let's go ahead and uh, sleep. See if we can hunt here. Not we'll have to go back to the map. Cannot hunt here. Well, since we didn't bring rations. And we're at that wrapping up point. Well, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pick up all the loot in town go off map camp and then next time we'll go and investigate so as always if you enjoyed this episode go ahead and give me a like or a comment and if you dislike the episode leaving a dislike is fine but please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode as always this is spidey 1958 and have fun gaming